Recent senior pranks at Culver High School brought complaints to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. We're told they include concrete in a washer and dryer, hateful graffiti, and a junk car flipped over. Blake Mayfield visited the school to find out more. The Sheriff's Office said its investigation determined this was not a criminal case, but it did raise questions as to how the students were able to get into the school. The Sheriff says a high-ranking district official let them in, but Culver School Superintendent says that's not true. Culver is a public high school with about 204 students. A washer and dryer in front of the school Thursday morning are remnants of a recent prank. The district acknowledges senior students were responsible for a series of pranks on May 18th. They TP'd hallways and classrooms, which could be easily cleaned up. But other pranks appear to have left more of a mark. A woman who says she's a teacher in the district told us students left graffiti, including anti-gay slurs, racially charged language, and swastikas on multiple cars in the school parking lot. She went on to say a school official enabling this kind of behavior was a slap in the face to all the teachers. We heard from another woman who says she works in the district office and had her car vandalized during the senior prank. She plans to file a lawsuit to recover damages. Thursday morning I was there as students arrived at Culver High School. One told me he was aware of the pranks. I also went to the district office to speak with Superintendent Stephanie Garber, who did not want to go on camera. Garber told us no high-level official let students into the building the night of the pranks. She said she and other district officials were in a board meeting when that happened. Jefferson County Sheriff Jason Pollock told us via text the pranks seemed to be planned ahead with the help of a staff member at the school. The sheriff later indicated in a phone call it may have been a high-ranking district official who gave the students access to the building. The superintendent says she's reaching out to the sheriff's office for clarification of the remarks and believes the seniors got into the building by taking the keys of a staff member. The woman who says she's a teacher in the district told us a lot more happened that night than has been reported so far. Still, no one wanted to go on camera to talk about the pranks or the fallout for the district. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.